in 2018. I became a meme. Let's talk about it. I hope you're good. I'm a real YouTuber now. I got merch. What's up, YouTube? Make sure that you smash that like button and that subscribe button and put the notification bell on and check out my merch. Consumer is a... No, seriously though, all the things are in the description. Uh, there's plenty of different sizes, different bits of merch, different bits of everything. Uh, check it out below. Also, while I'm being a real YouTuber, I think I should let you guys know I now have a Patreon. And some of the rewards even include discount codes from the merch store. Some of them even include free merch, so you can check out my Patreon if you want. But, for January... <laughs> For, for January only. I have a discount code for everyone uh, for January, so go check that out in the description box below. Don't forget to smash that like button and let's get this to 10 likes today. Woo! This isn't actually tea today, it's uh, actually Barocca. Not only am I getting vitamins and defending myself from the bacteria in the world, I have to, this is like my internet defense juice as well. Stay away, trolls of negativity. <laughs> Wow, I am really a real YouTuber now. It's taken me like four minutes to get into the actual content of the video. Let's get started. Right. Happy New Year, by the way, everybody. In 2018, I became a meme. Now, if you're a subscriber or a follower of me and you don't know this, then it shows. Or you've just like blocked me or something, or you just oh, like the subscribe button, the, the subscription box isn't working because it doesn't work. I thought this would be a really good video to discuss this about because... There's lots of memes on the internet, like memes come and go, like the winds of change and some of them involve like other stuff and some of them involve like real people and I think it's quite interesting when it happens to a real person and I'm not really seeing anyone else really talk about it, maybe because they're not like YouTubers but or maybe I just haven't seen it. I'm going to talk about what my meme was, uh, what the experience was like, what happens now, um, am I gonna like develop the meme, what, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chat about it because I think it's quite interesting to happen, it's quite an interesting thing to happen to a person I think, especially in this day and age, in 2019, 20 by teen, am I right? <laughs> okay, so my meme was dancing Hermione. <laughs> Let's start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. <sighs> a video of me dancing as Hermione Granger at MCM Comic Con went viral around May, June last year. I was just having a great time. I always go to these Comic Cons. I've been going since about 2012. In the summer one, in the May one, there's always like a dancing stage outside, like they play music and me and my pals just always just have a good time and just dance and be daft. And obviously a lot of us are in cosplay because it's Comic Con. And I cosplayed as a Minor Granger that year. I've done a Minor Granger a few times, but I love Harry Potter. I was just having a normal day at Comic Con. <laughs> I was just dancing. Just dancing like I do, like when I'm with my friends. And my friends like film me and put me on Twitter and Instagram all the time. So it literally wasn't anything new. And the kind of dance style I was doing, I was just kind of freestyling. It wasn't choreographed. I did like some moves that were a little bit inspired by Vogue Femme because I love that style of dance and I do that style of dance sometimes. My friend Connie, she put a video of me doing that on Twitter and it became a meme. I don't know how or why it became a meme. I can't tell you that sweet formula of what makes a meme and what gets shared and what doesn't. I really don't know, but it happened. And it was literally overnight. I can remember Connie posted it that evening and we noticed it was getting a bit of traction, like a lot of retweets and stuff. And it was really exciting actually. We were all just kind of sat around watching like the numbers go up and up and up. But I genuinely thought it was just going to be like a little bit of a retweet sesh that evening. But no. Woke up the next morning and it had just... It got everywhere. It just kept going. It just like kept getting reshared. Um, people were putting like different songs to it, and and then I started getting called like the dancing Hermione. So that's kind of how it started. That video, I can't tell you the total amount of views it got because it got reshared and reposted everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. People like ripped the video and reposted it without credit. Thanks, guys. From what I can gather, it was like around ten million views which is nuts for that one video. However, it didn't stop there. As that video was going viral, uh, a lot of people were expressing their disappointment 
that I didn't do this specific move in like the voguing uh, dance style which is basically like a death drop or a dip oh, I don't want to start off a debate here is a dip I thought as a thank you for everyone enjoying the dance that I'd do a reply video and I did that I went to a field my friend Becky helped me <laughs> and I did it I genuinely honestly didn't think thought this like that video was just gonna be a one-time thing going viral I genuinely didn't think that that video was also gonna go viral and if not even more viral than the first one <laughs> which I was just like what I really wish I'd done another take of that video because it was it started raining and stuff so I had to stop doing it the death drop or the dip that I do in that video is like really bad so uh people seem to enjoy it and it's just funny like it's just the dancer critic in me. I'm just I'm gonna stop. I was getting more followers on Instagram and like people were finding me and I was getting more and more requests for like more dancing Hermione. Do more dancing Hermione. We want to see more because the videos were quite short. But I was unsure whether to like carry on, just leave it there because like you know memes they they have a shelf life. I left it for a while. I left it for a few months actually. But so many people were asking if Hermione was going to be at London Pride because uh, I go to London Pride. I am part of the LGBTQ plus community so uh, I was going to go to Pride anyway and a lot of people were asking if Hermione was going to be there <laughs> because the dance style the, the dance style that I kind of do is very kind of ingrained in the LGBTQ community. It was the dance style is Vogue Femme which actually developed from Voguing which is a dance style that was created by black and Hispanic gay men. Uh, I want to do a video educating people on this because I get so many people like linking me videos saying they've stolen your dancing Hermione moves and I'm like Ugh. but that's for another video. Anyway so yeah I thought it'd be quite fitting and I feel like I thought like Hermione would definitely be a character that would go to Pride and stand up for gay rights and human rights and they always play like banging tunes in Soho at Pride so I was like yeah this is gonna be fun let's do it so I announced on my Instagram that I was gonna go as Dancing Hermione to Pride and uh, I went and I had a good time a lot of people were confused why there was a Hermione Granger there which fair enough but there's like Dumbledores and stuff there I get to Soho and uh, there's there's a dance circle <laughs> and I just kind of join in little did I know that my friend Hannah was filming me and she posted it on on Twitter and guess what a viral superstar this one was the most viral I'm not sure I, I, I wasn't really like counting numbers but I feel like this one like gets shared around a lot and when people approach me they're like oh I love the pride videos I feel like this was the one that was was the one RuPaul even tweeted it twice the Hermione Granger on Curse Child misnomer she retweeted me I'm just gonna oh. I was also shown on Jimmy Fallon. My video was shown to Daniel Radcliffe. It's called Hermione Dancing. I think this was at a Comic Con or something, but check this out. I think this is fun. I mean, that's, I mean, not bad. That is great. My mind actually went into orbit. That was cool. Uh, huge Harry Potter fan. I didn't get to go on Ellen, so maybe I guess I wasn't really a meme then. Also, Jimmy Fallon didn't like. I wasn't credited and no one like no one credited my video on Jimmy Fallon and I wasn't actually invited on there either so anyway shortly after that I got invited to do a performance at an eat sleep drag repeat show I have to thank my friend Emily Meow for this because she got me involved with all of this and um, basically it was a show sh show supporting Shangela she was doing a show in Bristol and yeah so I did a show I supported Shangela I did a performance with uh, the queen Lydia Lescaby she already had like a Hermione Granger act so we joined together and did a duo that was honestly one of the best nights of my life I've spent years training as a performer then I just become a meme and <laughs> oh god but it doesn't stop there no a lot of comments were getting really annoyed that people were calling like the dip move and that I was calling the dip move sometimes a death drop uh, a lot of like uh actual dancers in the voguing community were getting really annoyed about this and I feel like a lot of dancers in the voguing community don't like me which is it's fair enough I get it so I thought it'd be really funny if I educated everyone as Hermione Granger stop 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 you're saying it wrong besides it's not a death drop it's a dip 
you're a meme. I'm a what? You're a meme, Harry. <laughs> Anyway, you get you get it, you get it by now, don't you? Okay, so that's the story, and we went on a bit about the story, but let's chat about, like, what happens now? What is it like? First of all, I'm gonna say, probably everyone's meme <laughs> experience is different, but I think one common factor would be that it was unexpected, and it was a bit of a wild ride. I think everyone could probably relate to that, who's in the, the memes anonymous <laughs> circle. <laughs> Like, I genuinely do wonder what's going to happen to, like, you know, like, the yodel kid and the, the flossing kid. We're going to have to have, like, a, like, an anonymous scar <laughs> It's like a support group. I don't know. It's not that bad. I am really happy and grateful that my meme was spread in a positive way. Like, in a really positive and uplifting way. I've seen, like, other people become memes before and it's kind of got, like, out of hand. People have been mean about it and it's just been, like, I don't know, it's just not been a nice experience for the person. For me, it was, like, the reaction and everyone sharing it, it was 98% positive. And also, like, the things that got reshared and the comments that came through were just so hilarious. Like, this generation is just so funny. When I first went viral, it was kind of, like, especially when I was at Pride, it was kind of like a Hannah Montana kind of situation because obviously I was just as Hermione so I look pretty different. So like I can live my normal life, even live my normal life online and people don't realise that I'm the dancing Hermione. And when I was at Pride, when I was as Hermione, people were like coming up to me and stuff and like saying stuff and then when I wasn't Hermione, I just blended into the crowd and it was me and I could just live my best life. But now... Especially when people like found me on Instagram and stuff, I do get people asking me if I'm dancing Hermione and my reaction is always like, how, how did you know that? Like, how did you figure that out? I got approached in Starbucks about it actually. I just want to say a big up underscore oak one for saying hi. It was really, really nice to meet you. It's actually mainly when I'm around like Harry Potter places because I'm a Harry Potter fan. However, there are some negatives to it, which there is with like pretty much everything, and I'm gonna talk about them. They definitely don't outweigh the positives for me, but I feel like I have to tell you about it because we're, we're talking, we're having a chat. So as I said before, I'm a YouTuber. I've been a creator online for about 10 plus years now. This YouTube is like nearly 10 years old. I think it is 10 years old now. I'm not one of those people to like check and be like, yeah, fifth anniversary, woo! I've grown like a really, cool, hip, loyal following who know what to expect, but then becoming a meme and being dancing Hermione has brought in all of these people um, that don't know who I am really and expect to see things like dancing Hermione. So it's been a bit of a hard balance trying to balance that, those kind of people that have come in and then my people that were following me before, trying to balance the stuff that I make. And I still am kind of struggling with that, but I think I'm just gonna do the whole thing where it's like, just just do what you want because you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Are you going to do more Dancing Hermione? When's the next Dancing Hermione? No, 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 wait, you're doing too much Dancing Hermione. Just like the pressure of it is a bit like, exhausting. I love Hermione and I love the character of Hermione Granger and I am so thankful that me dancing as a character that I love went viral but also like I love Hermione and I want to cosplay Hermione still at MCM like at comic cons and stuff but now I can't do that version of Hermione because when I do it people literally come up to me and ask me to do the meme or think I'm just like milking the meme and stuff like just let it die and it's like no I actually like really like cosplaying Hermione she's one of my favorite characters and I really liked that version of Hermione that I did as a cosplayer but I feel like I'm just gonna have to if I want to cosplay Hermione at a convention and I don't want people coming up like dancing Hermione then I think I'm just gonna have to make a new version like maybe do an older version of Hermione which is kind of sad people just want me to dance all the time and it's just exhausting darling I just want to cosplay it's such a big problem yeah, I know there's there's definitely worse problems in the world, so it really, I'll get over it. I think the worst one though is that I noticed people using me. People who have never spoken to me before at events had started coming up to me and chatting to me and and like trying to be pally with me, even though I've been at the same event as them for like ten years and they've never even spoken to me once those ten years. A situation that stood out to me 
a lot was I was at one of these kind of events and I was sat down with my friends resting, obviously resting, like chilling out and they run up to me and they're like, dance monkey dance basically for my instagram woo you know me being like you know like yeah fine i don't know i, I i'm a people pleaser i i did it i got up i danced for them um and then they didn't talk to me at all they just walked away and then put it on their instagram and didn't even tag me which i feel is just like a little bit that's a little bit um I started feeling like I was becoming more of a spectacle than a person. The magic, you could say, wasn't there. People were just kind of using it as like a spectacle, like dance, monkey dance, woo, it'll be on my Twitter now. My video of you is gonna be viral next. And also like events as well would just treat me very rudely, like events that wanted me to perform there. They'd like cancel last minute, they'd like try and not pay me. And in general, just be incredibly disrespectful about it. I don't know if they realise that there's an actual person behind the costume or the fact that they see that I'm managing myself like I don't have a manager and then they try and take advantage of that or maybe people are just rude but the thing is I I do professional dancing singing acting outside of YouTube and I do stuff like that and I've never experienced things like that only with dancing Hermione so I don't know what that says let's talk about money rich famous meme <laughs> no hardly made any views do not equal money Next. You know what, that's actually all the bad things, bad things I can think about. What happens now? I don't know. And I don't really care. That was in 2018. <laughs> and like I said, memes come and go. They like, like a wave, like the gust of wind. If it blows up again, it blows up again. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I can't tell you how the internet is gonna work. And I think I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> the thing about Dancing Hermione is that original video, I was just being me just having a good time and I can't recreate that how I was then in every single video and I feel like it I don't want to force that so I don't I probably won't do any more dancing Hermione stuff on like as a content video I don't know I because I enjoy doing it I enjoy dancing I enjoy Hermione and I enjoy voguing but I feel like the meme is dead that's not the reason why I would stop doing it. I think the reason why I would probably like calm it down a lot or only do it every now and again now, probably mainly just at like events, like performances, because it kind of fits really well. Like when there's Harry Potter themed nights and when there's like drag nights, it fits really well with that and it's a lot of fun. So I'd probably still do it for stuff like that. Like I really like don't want to get pigeonholed as that thing and just be be that thing if you know what i mean because i was a creator before this became a thing and i want to be a creator after that i want to move on and create other things and if i get stuck in that 15 minutes of memeness then i don't think that's really good and i want to be me not hermione i want to be like known for me and my face not hermione's so that's why i'm going to stop it <laughs> not really I yeah just just like time to move on a little bit isn't it someone actually explained my channel as a creative mess the other day and they're not wrong but at the end of the day it's what I enjoy doing most I enjoy doing different things I don't like to lim limit myself and I definitely won't with this meme one thing I am super thankful for though is that the first original video blew up literally a day after I released the Indiegogo stuff for my short Harry Potter film that I'm making. That was like the stars aligned, like it just brought a bunch of Harry Potter fans who would be interested in this film to um, support that. So I'm super, super thankful for Dancing Hermione, especially for that. Um, I feel like there's some sort of weird stars aligned thing going on there, right there, I don't know, woo! So I guess that's like something to expect in the immediate future, but I don't know how Dancing Hermione is going to affect me in the long run, will it affect me at all? I don't know, right now, it, apart from like getting new followers, having a great time, <laughs> it hasn't affected me that much. I think I'll look back in 2018 in a few years time and be like wow that's the thing that happened and look back on it fondly but I, I'll have moved on more things will have happened in my life and that'll just be a, a cool thing that happened and although I do feel like I've unlocked some sort of internet achievement by becoming a meme <laughs> now it's time for the next internet adventure you know what I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me online before Dancing Hermione and then 
new people that have come in afterwards and are still supporting me now even though I'm not doing Dancing Hermione that you've like stuck around and you're supporting me now I really want to say a huge thank you to everyone because you're all awesome you're all so funny and kind and nice and I couldn't have I couldn't have asked for better people to like support me online you're all so cool I'm so happy that you understand me and my craziness and my crazy variety of content as well so thank you I don't think Dancing Hermione is the defining moment of my life or career it was just an awesome thing that happened and I'm super thankful for it so yeah thank you so so much and I don't know what this video is but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye I just have this feeling that most of the comments are going to be about my hair and not the actual video. We shall see. Let's do a social experiment.